Welcome to FT Live at the Doha Forum. I'm joined by Roya Mahboub, uh, a tech entrepreneur from Afghanistan, now living in New York, who specializes in empowering women in particular in technical and digital literacy in Afghanistan. Roya, if you, could you just start by explaining how you got to be doing this fascinating job? I think everything is for me started at the age of 16, when for the first time I went to only Indian cafe in Herat, where the only boys and my cousin could go there, and a good girl wouldn't walk in. I was insisted to go to that uh, Indian cafe to see these things called people internet and magic box. So I went there and see that this computer that connect you with the people, and you could write whatever you want, and you can find so many information, so many other realities, than, than you always hear. And that was make me fascinated. And that the first time I saw the computer and worked with that, I found out that this is, would be the solution for the problems that I have. And I make the te technology to be center of my career. So age 16, you see the computer for the first time. That was going back to Afghanistan from Iran you yes. grew up. And then you uh, went and studied uh, At the computer science. Well, computer science. And then I went to the computer science. I graduated from computer science and I, I started working at the university as an IT coordinator. And then I started in the uh, age of uh, uh, at 2010 in a company called Digital... Uh, I forgot all... <laughs> is uh, my company, African Institute of Sofia, yeah. is a company that we cre created a platform that the women can hire them as a blogger and uh, as uh, programmers, and um, I become as the first tech female CEO. And now you run the Digital Citizens Fund uh, for Afghanistan. What does it, what does it do? Uh, we start Digital Citizen Fund with one dream and one goal. The goal it was is to see that uh, technology is an accessible option for everyone. But the dream was to see everyone, even women, children from all the region, and then they can have the access to opportunities and education. So that's why we started DCF. And uh, to create a platform to help the young women and children to have access to technology and education, and then as well have the access to opportunities. And how widespread is it now in Afghanistan that people have this access to information, technology, education? Uh, every year we're taking 2,000 students uh, uh, from high school and we provide a training to learn about technology, to learn about coding, social media. We also provide a training in the financial literacy uh, from level of the how to manage the money at home to level of entrepreneurship. We also provide a training in um, robotics, blockchain as well for the students. And just, just describe to us, the, the population of Afghanistan, it, it's very young, so this, this is really actually, is this really taking off um, and um, becoming a very big thing in Afghanistan? Uh, around 27 million of Afghan population are living under the age of 25. And you see that this many of these uh, young generation, they grew up in an area of a democratic mm -hmm. society that they have access to the resources, information. Many of them living in the bigger cities with the smartphones and with the access to the internet, TVs, and with access with all the information. So I think that technology could play a bigger role in Afghanistan. And what we want to see is that Afghanistan be, within the next 20 years, a country of source of high-tech technology, rather a country of throw and war. And we want that to have more young generation who have a, have a good product or innovations that they can talk in a global market. And what, what impact are you seeing already from the Digital Citizens Fund? What, what effects do you see it's having on Afghan society? We have already trained more than 14,000 of the girls. Yeah in a different areas. And then one of the things that I think, I had like so many projects that had a bigger impact in the society, but I will give you two examples. One of them is Afghan Girls Robotic Team that uh, three years ago we created a team of teenagers that they called Afghan Dreamers. They could go, they wanted to go to the competition in Washington DC, but unfortunately they couldn't get the visa. And we used the social media to tell our stories and we reached out to millions of the people at the end 53 US congressmen signed a petition. At the end, President Trump himself get involved and give them, granted them the visa, and the girls could come to the United States. Today, they are become a symbol of hope, unity, and happiness for Afghan community. 
because of them, our policy makers and powerful people and governments, they all find out the importance of teaching kids mathematics and high quality of education and robotics at young age. And because of them, today we are going, we got a land of six a car, uh, worth of $12 million by Afghan governments to build the first school of science, technology, engineering, art and math with a focus on artificial intelligence, robotics, blockchain and cybersecurity, that we will be able to prepare our today's generation, young generations, for future jobs. Our children are our future leaders, inventor and designer, and we have today to invest on them, and the investment should be on the higher quality of education. We have to provide this opportunity for them. And I think that this is today impacted in the society. And then they also could be able to change the view of Afghan community on women's ability in science and many other industries that for centuries they were ignored. So this is a victory. A victory of hope for Afghans, women, especially women. Well, very good luck in all of your endeavours to come. Rora Mapu, thank you very much. Thank you for having me here.